gentle opening of a third eye. Didn't start with the fourth wind whistling through a wind chime. It started when I was about nine, in an average size classroom. Looking to my right to see Agard, Nichols and Zephaniah. People who bent the English language to their whim. It started with learning about Anne Frank, Martin Luther King, learning that my words, they can grow like sunflower seeds. Continued with knowing that some days my words, they'll look like shit. Best keep a book beside the bed, cause these thoughts, they float down and rest on the existential window ledge like the quantum waves of an electron. I am best when no one is looking. And it continues with knowing that it will never be right, so it should just be true. Continued with a tattoo. A carnal covenant between the me then, and the one that I can only squint at through a lens of presumption, and it continues like this. With me, making a song of myself and someone far off in the distance, clicking. My mum said she dreamt of it. Live fish. She stood in the market, eyeing up the snapper, the bang Mary, and the trout on one side, the hauri, the patwa, and the hassa on the other side. My sister and I exchange glances like sisters do. To an outsider, This is that mundane talk, that morning talk, between opening the fridge aimlessly and then on the third attempt grabbing the milk talk. Every child in this family has been preemptive by my mum's otherworldly trips to the fish market. Last time, auntie called to share the good news. If it comes from anyone else, then it's good news. As I pray for the phone to ring, and I count the days since my last period, my sister asks, My sister asks what it means if you dream dead fish. What if you dream that you scaled it? Chopped its head off. 
and fried it down in oil. 